you know? Um, okay, uh, and is that our favorite dragon, or is that just us on the back okay. of something? Okay, are you kidding? He's got, he's got, he's got the castle. He borrowed the castle of Maleficent, and he's got a graveyard right, <laughs> right, uh, in his in the castle's yard. Could you possibly be more obviously the villain, please? Am I supposed to kneel or something? Kneel before a mandible, I cannot say that. <laughs> Cobb? Cobb is in this game? As in the loom guy, Cobb? You look and of a bitch. Oh, you mean the pirate Cobb? Yeah. The, the loom guy from Monkey Island? Yes. That explains so much. It's been quite a long time since any weaver dared to set foot of the dreary lock you call home. Loom. So provincial. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave it now. Not your headdress. His Excellency ask you a question. I know. I'm ignoring it. Oh, spunky kid, aren't you? Ha! Recalcitrance, I see. Shall I, I fetch the instruments of persuasion, Excellency? Oh, um... Excuse me? Forgive the hostility of my assistant. I fear Cobb is not very uh, worldly. Yes, that's the word I'm looking. I was looking for. Totally. He does not realize how dangerous a weaver can be. Dangerous? Him? Yes, I know, right? Do you think this iron cage of yours is enough to hold the boy captive? I. Uh, by the way, I noticed you haven't removed the, the cane from his person. That's what I'm <sighs> thinking. What a bunch of but, losers. But excellence, I inspect the locks every Tuesday. Observe and, observe and learn, my servant. Oh, so they are... Even now, your prisoner plans to escape. So let me get this straight. You lock me up with the cane just so you can actually look smarter than your assistant. Wow. So you can actually look smart in front of your dumb assistant. Oh, can, I just, can I just click on this beast over here and open his cage so he attacks them? That would be cool, but unfortunately, I think you can't. So I have to be. So the game is forcing me to open the cage. Yes, the game is forcing you to uh, do to the stupid a, thing. Do the stupid thing to so that you can actually so for the amusement of the of that really condescending suck up green vomit of Bishop Mandible. Ah, uh, stupid. It's really it really is. Why would we do this? Why? You see, Cobb, an elusive breed, these weavers. To bed, they actually do that in front. And now he removes the cane! What does. What does any of this make any logical sense? It does not! Give me that! It, are you kidding me? What is this? What is this? What is this? We mustn't be rude to our guest. Not after he was kind enough to bring us such a magnificent gift. I mean, you locked him up with the cane, then you said, Hey, kid, try to escape. Okay, I do. Oh, and now the cane is mine. Whee! And now you go back to the cage. Yeah. Arrogant. I, I have the smarts. Gosh, this was the epitome of pointlessness. Uh, Why couldn't he just get the cane to begin with and avoid all this uselessness? Uh, just, I think uh, he's going to do what we tried to do earlier. <sighs> and I mean, it's all that rage I missed. Uh, no, some, no doubt, really important plot points. Not. Yes. Uh, it's a fragile thing. Not just here. Every graveyard is like that. Oh, you mean the graves you tried to open up earlier on? Now imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary was somehow breached. Oh. Um, uh, the zombie apocalypse? Torn open. Oh. So you speak. Forget it, Mandible. <laughs> you can't just rip the pattern apart like an old rag. I cannot take this guy seriously for one second, Mandible. But I can, I can! All, all I require is a weaver's this stuff and the four threads of, uh, an, of an opening draft. Thank you for supplying both so readily. I, I don't I don't get I don't get anything that's going on. <laughs> when the boundary is breached, the dead will stream Oh god, it is a zombie apocalypse! <laughs> I've a lot of ghosts. And I will be waiting for them, ready to offer my vast expertise in spiritual leadership. 
Oh, so good lord. So, so basically, you're a necromancer. Your plan is to revive the dead and control them and use them as an army to take over the world. You're the worst. Ugh. I should preside over a teeming multitude of restless sheets, immortal, invincible, an army of the dead, with myself as its supreme commander, because I'm such a cliché dungeon and dragon-esque villain! And with the swords of the blacksmiths... They know this? Do they? And guided by the spear of the glassmakers... I was, I was preparing to invoke the dead by other, more forceful means. What? Then the glassmakers delivered my spear. It foretold your convenient arrival. What? Oh, you expect us to do it? <laughs> no. Now it shows me the smiths repairing the sword you tried to ruin. The age of the clerics will soon be upon us. The church is evil. Get it? Well, Goblin. this church is evil. No, the church is evil. That's the that's the message. That's uh, is it clear now? Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. <laughs> Why are you a Saturday morning cartoon villain? <laughs> He's worse. <laughs> Not so dangerous now, are you? <laughs> oh my gosh! This this. This is the worst. <laughs> oh. I cannot take any of this seriously for one second. And it is not a comedy. Is... <laughs> this is not supposed to be a comedy. This is not supposed to be The Secret of Monkey Island. This is all supposed to be all serious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wants to take over the universe. The whole universe with an army of undead. Zombies. Or souls, depending on which way you look at it. Um, he wants to raise the dead. <laughs> with, the, with the godly cane. And, and rule over the universe. <laughs> Bishop Mandible. <laughs> the ruler of the <laughs> Why? Oh. Uh, Cobb... Hey, um, Cobb! Hey, Cobb! Uh, hey, Cobb, tell me about the secret of my... Hey, Cobb, tell me about Loom! Charming fellow, aren't you? Says I think that looks like a similar face, but except without the beard. Hey, if I can... If I... Hey, if I talk to you, will you tell me all about the secret of Monkey Island? Uh, okay. Uh, we'll keep away from it. Y you are his voice. I wasn't going to touch it. Just looking, that's all. Just looking, eh? Hmm. Okay, so another another thing. Yeah. If all if bishop if the bishop all if all the bishop needed was actually the cane or the weaver. Yeah. Why doesn't doesn't he just kill Bobbin? Why does he need it alive? That's what I want to know. They all made eight sins. It is the same guy from the Secret of Monkey Island. It what? is. Uh. Um, uh, wait, what? Naturally, we clerics pay little heed to such rumors. Still, I'm curious. That is definitely Cobb's face without the beard. I'll let you look into the sphere if you let me lift your hood, deal. I wouldn't try that if I were you. Why, what's gonna happen? Are you gonna turn to the Hulk? Uh, maybe, maybe he's going to go crazy, like as, as, if, as if watching some... looking some eldritch cosmic horror abomination Cthulhu in the eyes. If you fear nothing, then you best to not touch me. Ah, a riddle. I like riddles. I think it was just a warning, not a riddle. Let's answer this riddle once and for all, shall we? Fool, foolish fools! Bakora! I am supposed to invoke the dead with all the screaming in there! Yeah, the silent screaming I cannot hear. Okay, apparently... Can't oh. say I didn't warn him. Oh. Oh. So what? The, is it? Is the is is a weaver space actually a black hole to another dimension? Was the guy sucked in into his space and lost into some void of space, and his soul is damned forever? Because if that's the case, damn. That that yeah. Aside from that, that would be the only redeeming cool quality 
of this other like wreck of our story in a game. Well, that and the dragon lady. Uh, well, of course, uh, the dragon lady is awesome. But... Okay, let's check the sphere out. Also, I'm picturing in my head Bishop sounding like the like the villain from the Yu-Gi-Oh film, abridged version. <laughs> you know. Ah, my plan! I am going. Ah, I'm going to raise an army of the dead to take over the world, and I'm going to uh, control them with, my, with a king that I know nothing about. And, <laughs> and my plan is great. My plan is great. Uh, oh, a feather from your from... stepmother. Don't yes. tell me she's going to get her goose cooked. I think this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it is. Hey there. Well. Okay, hey there. so it's just repeating. Hey there, hey there, pr Swan Princess. How okay. are you? There's only one thing we can probably do, and that's unlock the beast. Looks hungry. Um, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend unlocking the cage. I guess we have to leave. Um. Uh. Uh. uh well. Uh. Uh, 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 okay, despite my better judgment, this is the dumbest. This is the. This is the dumb. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just, he's so absurd in his own thoughts of evil, of evil con world conquering in mental monologue. He's not, no, he's, he's lost any capability of peripheral vision and basic. He's not, he's just, <laughs> ah yes, my plan is great, and nothing can stop me now. Wah, wah, wah. And I'm going to be lost, looking at the uh, apparently at the at the sea that's full of uh, white unicorns, and I'm going to be lost in the beauty of the sea and not noticing anything else going around <laughs> me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I am the great and powerful mandible. Nothing can defeat me or stop me in any way possible. No way I'm going to and uh, meet up with some super uber ironic end. Okay, no, Vadog, Vadog, I take take. The, you see those chill pills I left you there? You see them? You take 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 take, take them. Come on, take them. Uh, no, no, Vadog, Vadog, Vadog. I got a chair. I got a chair. No, no, no take those pills. Yes, take the pills, and then we continue the game. Okay, mandible. Yes, uh, Cobb is I, bad at his job. I think Cobb is being rather dead in his duties. <laughs> no matter, you're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. You don't know what you're doing, Mandible. And it's not like I can stop you in any way possible, you know, like physically overpowering you or anything. The pattern is worn enough already. If you rip a hole in it now... Spare me your weaver mysticism. More like your... No, no more shall, shall the dead envy the living. <laughs> so, you have illusions of grandeur, in other words. Oh, uh, that's putting it lightly. So, Ibis is going to rip... He's going to open a rift in the space-time continuum as if this, as if it was uh, made of a... Uh, of a... Uh, of, of a... Uh, something. Oh, oh, oh good oh, lord! Oh, oh, dear lord. Oh, oh, no. Who is this? I have a very bad feeling about this. Yes, I have a Star Wars reference, too. How dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? Greetings, greetings, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandibot, once ultimate apostle of the anti secular conclave of clerics. <laughs> Who have I the honor of summoning? The devil? Oh, oh. no, it's Chaos from Final Fantasy. Great. I am Chaos. Join me. Wait, I I thought I was already on the dark side. Oh! Yeah, oh. Holy shit! Let's, Let's see, see that again. <laughs> Instant replay. Headshot, Captain.
Sound. Oh, oh good wow. lord! Kids were supposed to play this game? Well, so... Okay, even though I ended up being uh, brutally murdered by the spirit of chaos, my plan is still great. Can't seem to hold on to this thing. Can't S hold on to it? Close this damn thing! Uh, no, you can't. Ugh. Even though your spell that can literally open the sky and close it, you cannot actually close that. What the? And even if you could, that, well, the chaos is already spread. I mean, <laughs> Mandible, you stupid sack of green vomit! Oh, well, well this is just grand, isn't it? Uh, it just. It, it, what did you think it would happen when you opened the, the spice and then you see the devil coming out of it or chaos? Did you think you could... Uh, oh, hello, oh, hello, great, wait, spirit of chaos, wanna go conquering the universe with me? Uh, and, oh, um, oh, oh, yeah, the beast is not longer in the cage, is there? Oh, yeah, shh, sh look! Ah, hoo -hoo -hoo uh, what the... Okay, so apparently we can actually breathe in space. Good, good to know. Good to yes. know. Yes. And uh, we can go places. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, healing spell. Can we heal him? I don't think you can heal from death. Rusty. My old pal, Bobby Fred. When did you ever became pals? Rusty, this is awful. How did it happen? I don't know, how did it happen? Well, Bobby, old buddy, I think it went something like this. I'm lying here, minding my own business, when this strange new kid shows up and decides he wants to switch clothes with me. You shouldn't know that, because you're dead. <laughs> and you were sleeping. And I'm going to be... And I'm turning into a vengeful spirit of... Uh, of wrath, and I'm going to haunt you and drive you insane. I figure, hey, so what? Have a little fun, right? We can always switch back again later. So this kid walks away looking just like me. Fine. Only one problem. Just to make sure that he has a 40 foot dragon out to get him! And what happens when the face and jungle stays like that? Looking just like you! Ah, la, la. He looks horrifying all of a sudden. I'm frightened. I don't know what to say. Sorry would help. Anyway, I end up like this dead. So I go outside to wait for Doomsday like a good little ghost. Oh. Oh, and what do you suppose happens then? Nope. Go. Go. Some idiot rips the universe apart and holds all us all back inside. Well, that was Mandible. That was Mandible's fault. Yeah, that was Mandible's fault. A lot of, but a lot of dead ones are really upset, so basically we are being invaded by ghosts. That's or understandable. Something. Not zombies, ghosts. Yes, I've if guessed that myself. And have decided to take over the world because. What? Not. Starting with my hometown. Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Maybe we can uh, fix this. Uh, uh, okay, Rusty, old oh, buddy. Let, let Let's try healing you. I mean, yes. Sure. Uh. Yes, you can heal from death, right? <laughs> oh dear Lord. Oh, something's happening. What? The this is- are you- are you kidding me? We are Jesus! Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's not a cane! That's- that's not a cane, that's- That is the cane of God! That's the- that's Jesus- that's Jesus on a wood stick. You were hurt, I healed I you. That's you. That's he all. was dead! He was dead! Dead! D-E-A-D, -E that's a bit different from hurt. Can... Wait, come with you? Where? I've gotta find out what happened to the rest of my guild. I think they're all dead. Yes, I, I... I... Sorry, I have to do the same thing. Well, you know what, I actually noticed something that... I, it's uh, actually a really nice detail in the background, but... Yeah? You, know, you notice all those rifts and holes in the space-time Yeah, continue? they all look like threads. Yes, because the universe is made of threads, because Loom is the title of the game. Which is kind of clever, in a way. 
better not wander too far. Uh, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? Uh, I think you need to go back to the space-time rife. That, that, yeah, that, I just thought I'd take a look to see if there's anything I can do, but obviously uh, it will not let me. So I'm just gonna go back this way. I don't think, I don't think even your uh, your godlike powers and Jesus Christ thing. Okay, can I? Do I have to close this up now uh, that we're done? Uh, yes, D close it. Close. E C can actually fix e. that. A total mess that is the former guild of the blacksmiths. Well, at least Rusty's alive, right? Who cares? I don't. Oh, that 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 that, that, that was mind-boggling. A heal spell revived him. A heal? Okay, heal spells revive the dead. Uh, uh, serious. Uh, um, uh, uh, this is. <gasps> they killed all. Oh no! They killed all the ship. Also the shepherds too, but the ship, not the ship. Never had a chance. No, no, never fear, because I can heal. Never he, never fear, guys. I can heal you from being dead, because apparently there is a cure to death. <laughs> okay. I, I I cannot even process the idiocy of this. I wouldn't call it idiocy. More like a bit the uh, god modding. This no, it is idiocy. When you have a character that's basically God, and it's basically Jesus Christ, and nothing really, and he can do anything, then that character becomes a Mary Sue. Because he has no limitations, ergo he doesn't ha he, he has no challenge. Please, no real challenge. what happens? When he, can, when he can cure people from being dead, that's when you go a little too far. His power has grown since we last met. Yes, the, for the force is strong in this boy. Shepherds have long memories. Wizards, I shall not forget your kindness. <sighs> Come, before the dead ones return to reap us again. By the way, this game is almost over, thankfully. I can't believe this as well. There's all this blood and such, and this was advertised for kids to play it. Uh, why? Have you forgotten all the macabre and gore in The Secret of Monkey Island? Well, yeah, but still, it, it, it's just, it didn't have. Do you know? Do you know what, what what kind of films kids would watch in the eighties? It, it says I'm surprised that this called me surprised about that, considering how much people tried to uh, back in the nineties say like, do not watch these films; they're for adults and such of all the gore and such. And then they play this little game called Loom, and there is a guy exploding in a Gora fountain, and his head, beheaded head uh, throttles right on the scent on the screen, on a, on a close up, and then there's the rib cage, and the guy was devoured to death. And they, and, they, and look, oh, it's Good Mold. Hey, Good Mold. Yes. I, well, I guess he's spell. Well, I guess he's. I guess he. Save your magic for the dead ones, Weaver boy. Oh, uh, well, I guess he, he he went to his last guided tour. Oh, he's alive. Then why won't you heal? Why won't you let me heal you? Because someone has to die, apparently. I even don't though understand. You're, even though you're basically Jesus. You're the keepers of the Great Scythe. Why didn't you use it? What does the Great Scythe do, exactly? And who is Chaos? Why is nothing ever established? You in the dead that fallen in the wake of the this guy, yes. But to unleash such merciless evil would make us as cowardly as they. What? He wished not to become like our enemy. We wished. So so let me get this straight. You let all your people get slaughtered just so you could be on the moral high ground compared to your enemy. Thank you for that. You deserve. You all deserve to die. You know what I say? Good riddance and good riddance. I'm, go I'm going to dance on your grave and yell and good riddance like in Maniac Mansion. Just <laughs> I'm going to call the cast from Maniac Mansion, Bernard and Razor. I'm going to have them dancing on your grave and making out. Oh look, and they 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 just decided to leave and not give us a chance to revive him. Okay, these guys are these guys are worse than the elves in Lord of the Rings. Uh, well, there's nothing else in here, so I guess we can't yeah. do anything but let chaos, you know, take the scythe. Oh, jeez. All of this could have been avoided if we did something more smarter. 
you like I recommended for Bobbin you know, to do. Like like you know, maybe maybe not not opening that cage you were locked in in front of Mandible and like a freaking moron. Yeah, open the cage of the beast. Just, you could you could have pretended to be uh, a, a stupid, ignorant idiot. It's not like it would have taken so much to outsmart Mandible, be, considering oh, how smart he were, which may, is may to should, say none. Maybe I should close that gate that I forgot about in the start of this area. I cannot believe you're actually floating in the middle of space. I'm just gonna what? guess this is like the the spirit realm or something. I'm gonna Those guess that. And why does it look like a? Why does it look like the background for Deep Space Nine then? Spirits. Yeah, it's sure. like it's like the equivalent of magic. So you're telling me that uh, Timon was 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 right all along about the stars in the sky. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they are the king of the. Pa uh, no wait, like Simba said, they are the kings of the past, looking us from the sky. <laughs> Oh dear lord, this game is break this game is breaking me. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yes. Something's happening. We got B. Okay. Uh, do we have any spells with the B letter in it? Because I don't think we do. I'm starting to think we don't have any bees. Not the bees? Yep, we don't have any bees. Not the bees? Nope, no bees. Not the bees. I don't know why. This is like the one note that we just don't seem to have any spell connected uh, to. What do we do now, exactly? Well, the only thing I can think of is float to the to the way yonder. Uh.